All right, I got all six of my little tabs here cut out and uh, kind of smoothed off the edges, got some of the slag off, and then uh, marked them in the middle uh, to uh, bend them. And uh, I'm gonna use, I have a, uh, a little uh, sheet metal break, so that's what I'm, what I'm gonna use to uh, bend these. But uh, if you use 16 gauge uh, material like I have, then there's 100 ways to bend something this uh, thin. So anyway, now I'm gonna come over here to the cab and this area in here it's not 90 degrees it's probably something in the neighborhood of 70 degrees uh, maybe 60 somewhere in there so I'm actually just going to take one and uh, make some practice bends with this one to get the actual shape uh, the proper bend that I need and hopefully that should translate uh, with the rest of them uh, but this is I, I think this is really going to be a you know each each little tab is going to have its own specific bend um, for this project. So um, so that's what we're going to do. We'll go put this in the brake and uh, bend it up. All right, so I'm over here at the sheet metal brake, and uh, it's just on the ground out here in my backyard. Um, so hopefully this goes smoothly. Uh, so anyway, we'll just shove this little piece in there, line it up uh, with the line cinch it down and bend it up okay I'm gonna go with that for now so that's gonna be my starting point and uh, we'll see how it fits well how's that for beginners luck just one bend and uh, that's about as perfect as it's gonna get I'm not gonna put this in the brake anymore and uh, just move on to the next one so uh, I'll do the other five and then shoot another video Okay, so what I've done is I've placed uh, my little bracket underneath right about where I want it to be. And then I traced it. You can see that sharp, block that hole. You can see the little Sharpie line there. I'm gonna come up from underneath with my drill and drill a hole in there uh, to put my rosette weld in. So I'm gonna do this with all of them. I'm gonna do it all individually. Um, so this piece is going in this spot and then every piece is gonna have its own spot. So I'll get going to this and then we'll drill some holes. All right, we're ready to come up in here with our drill and drill our hole. Just be careful not to go too far in with your drill bit because your windshield is right there and you don't wanna come up and uh, either crack your windshield or scratch it or any way. Uh, it's not something I'm super worried about. My windshield's got a crack in it uh, and a real bad scratch, so I'm probably gonna replace it. But for right now, I don't wanna damage it because I don't wanna remove it. Uh, I, I wanna leave it in place just to keep the elements out. So anyway, come in here with your drill, just with a small, this is an eighth inch drill bit, uh, just to do a pilot hole and we'll come back uh, with a larger bit and uh, drill out that hole so that we can uh, put a rosette weld in from the top. All right, as you can see here, I've come in and I've drilled these holes out larger. Uh, I drilled them out to 5 16 uh, which is plenty large for uh, this type of uh, rosette weld since we're using uh, just 16 gauge, it's fairly thin material, so we should get good penetration on these. This one here, let me zoom out here just so you know where it is. It's just to the left of the steering column support this one's the, probably the most difficult one to get to. I had to kind of come in from the side, sort of like that. Uh, it's just real hard to get the drill to come in uh, directly uh, perpendicular to it. So I had to come in from an angle a little bit. So that was the most difficult and it really wasn't that bad. So just to point that out, uh, the rest of them, uh, they're really not too bad. You got plenty of room um, if you get everything out from behind the dash and you got uh, plenty of room to get in there and uh, drill those holes. So the holes are done and uh, now we just uh, got to clean up the slag, the little shavings, uh, kind of clean this area, get it ready for welding and uh, then we'll weld these in.